everyone, welcome to Coffee Cup in Leutemann. Today I'm going to talk about the power of doing nothing and how you can use this power of doing nothing and why is it important. Um, an example of it is, um, is when you're experiencing a nudge. The first thing to be noted is the, the one that's experiencing the nudge, that's the conceptual self. And the one that wants to fix the nudge, that's the conceptual self. So these two um, are subtle and very commonly experienced within, within uh, ourselves and are very easily to become identified with for, for what a noble purpose but to want to fix a nudge or do something about it. But uh, the nudge comes from the conceptual self and it's the conceptual self that wants to fix it. Um, so um, the two aspects of these things is the nudge and the fixer and both are the conceptual self. And when you practice the power of doing nothing where you just witness, well you don't even need to allow. Because um, even that's, you know, can, can even be the conceptual self, uh, a symbol of the conceptual self wanting to do something. Just watch silently with a not minding attitude towards the nudge, uh, a not minding attitude to the conceptual selves wanting to fix the nudge. And what this does is um, because you're not participating anymore, you're also not identifying with the conceptual self anymore. And this lessens the conceptual self. As the nudges begin to lessen and as the fixer of the nudges, which is the conceptual self, begins to lessen, it slowly then becomes revealed that you are not, not these two uh, aspects within yourself. And who you are is ever perfect. If there was no um, conceptual self, there would be no nudges in the first place, nor would there be a fixer of the nudges. There will be nothing left to, but to bask in the ever-perfectness that you already are. So this brings you uh, to the discovery of the perfectness that you already are. So, um, yeah, just notice the one that wants to fix nudges, that's the conceptual self. And um, just watch it silently. And um, don't give it your attention, but give it your not minding attention. And see what happens. And um, if there's a frown, what I'm, in this video that I'm talking about now, if a frown or a seriousness comes in, if you can feel your face frowning and becoming serious, that again is the conceptual self coming in. And, um, and even this is a necessary symbol for us to become aware of and uh, not identify even with that. So even if a frown comes in, observe that and don't touch even that. Uh, you are not the frowner. You are not the serious one. That's the conceptual self. You are not the fixer of nudges. That's the conceptual self. Nor are you the nudges. That's the conceptual self. All of these are very subtle and very commonly repeated within everyone's day-to-day -day living. And um, by practicing doing absolutely nothing and uh, not minding all of these actions which are a necessary symbol of the current structure of the conceptual self um, as they begin to lessen and dissolve the truth of who you are gets discovered like that light <laughs> hang on I think it's coming back again hang on oh no not yet but um that's the benefit. So, um, yeah, do not do anything, not mind, and don't even bother allowing these things. Don't participate in anything. Thank you.